Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video I'm going to cover the top five reasons to learn Python, but also the top five reasons why Python should be the first programming language you learn. In fact, in most computer science programs across the U.S., Python is now the first introductory programming language they teach. So number five, Python is a dynamically typed language. Let me explain what that means. You don't have to declare the type when you're declaring a variable. So you can skip the headaches of typecasting and declaring variable types when you declare a variable. In Java, if you want to use X to store integer values like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you have to first declare X as an integer. And once you've done that, X has to always be an integer. X can never equal 1 half. So if you take X equals X divided by 2, you would expect X to equal 0 0.5, but it doesn't. In fact, X can never be 0 0.5. First, you have to cast the result as an integer, or the program won't even compile. And that integer is going to be zero, since Java is going to round this down to the nearest integer. In Python, you can say x equals 1, and this happens under the hood. Python takes care of your type management, so you don't have to worry about it. At this point, x is an integer type. And then when you say x equals x divided by 2, the result, as you would expect, is x is now equal to 0 0.5. And if you look at x's type at this point, it's now a floating point variable. So this dynamically typed variables makes Python much easier to work with than most compiled languages or strongly typed languages like Java and C. Number four, simple syntax. Some programming languages have unending parentheses, brackets, braces, commas, call, all kinds of different syntax for different things. And if you have one thing out of place, your program doesn't even compile, it doesn't run, it just throws errors at you. With Python, you spend a lot less time debugging, a lot less time worrying over tiny little commas and semicolons, and a lot more time programming. This isn't to say that there is no syntax in Python but that it's designed to be as simple as possible so that you spend a lot less time trying to solve stupid little colon versus semicolon problems. Number three, one-liners. Some things in Python are so elegant and smooth that you'll just be amazed. Things that you can do and should be able to do in one line in Python take three or more lines in some other programming languages. So here's an example where just to exchange the value of x and y variables in Java, it takes three lines of code. First, you have to declare an int or a string or whatever type the variable x is. Uh, you have to declare a temp variable. You have to copy x into the temp variable. Then you move y into x. And then you move this temp variable back into y. So it takes three lines of code and an extra temp variable just to swap the two values in Java. In Python, simply x comma y equals y comma x, and wham, you, you swap two variables. That simple. So a lot of little one-line solutions like this that are so smooth and simple that save you coding time and they save you headaches debugging even because your code is so much simpler. Number two, English-like commands. You find that Python code is so much more readable than C or Java because Python is designed to be English-like or as much so as possible. So take these two commands. In Java, we would just want to print a string named Bob, let's say. So we assign this value Bob to variable name. First, we have to declare name as a type string. We have to add a semicolon at the end of the line here, which we don't have to use in Python. We can simply say name equals Bob. And then to print it out, we have to say system.out.println name semicolon. In Python, you can simply say print name. So you can see the syntax and the readability of Python is so much simpler than Java, C, and actually most other programming languages. And number one, intuitive and really simple to use data structures. So Python has what I think is an excellent set of data structures. Lists, tuples, sets, and dictionaries are all extremely useful. They're each different and, and useful in different ways, and they're powerful, yet really simple and intuitive to pick up and use. So you spend less time trying to figure out how to use these data structures, and more time just writing out code, implementing code. 
And not only that, but these data structures in Python are flexible. And by that, I mean that they can support mixed data types. So you can have a list of mixture of strings, integers, and floating point values in that list, or even lists within a list. These data structures in Python are very flexible compared to most other languages. And I actually have a good detailed video on Python data structures I strongly recommend you watch. Lists, tuples, sets, and dictionaries. So that concludes this video on five reasons to learn Python. I hope this was helpful for you. If you liked it, please subscribe. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.